After unboxing your camera, you'll need to download the Yellowstone AI Command Center app and create an account or log into your existing account. Then follow the prompts to activate your camera. ICCID can be found inside your camera latch. Like everyone else in the world, we have three different plan options. On the high end, our outfitter plan has a number of benefits that no one in the industry offers, including truly unlimited data. You'll never pay extra for videos or HD requests or anything like that. Our cameras and solar panels come with a full lifetime warranty. This warranty doesn't cover damage caused by bears, cattle, other animals, fires, natural disasters, etc. But our outfitter plan includes enhanced protection, so all of these situations are covered for life. Outfitter customers get free upgrades to new camera models when we launch our Y3, Y4, etc. Our outfitter plan also includes theft protection in case your camera gets stolen and free replacement lithium ion batteries for life. All customers will get our award-winning US-based customer support. But in addition, Outfitter customers can choose to have a dedicated account manager who will help onboard their cameras, become familiar with their situation, and provide more customized and expedited troubleshooting, engineering, etc. No one in the industry offers these benefits, and they might not be for everyone. So we have two lower cost plans as well. Our Pro plan, which includes a lot of data, and our Starter plan, which is a nice low cost option for cameras that expect fewer than about 10 pictures a day. Our cameras and app are compatible with any smartphone, tablet, or computer. The cameras themselves seamlessly connect to AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile towers, and automatically switch based on signal strength. After picking a plan and entering your payment info, your camera will be active. Now that your camera is activated, you'll want to charge your battery packs using the included USB charging cable. Your battery pack will show four solid red lights when fully charged. This could take a few hours. Next, insert your battery pack and install your antenna finger tight. Then slide the camera to setup mode. Your first connection might take a few minutes. While we wait, here's a quick overview of your camera's control panel. If your SD card light is ever red or yellow, you may need to format your SD card or replace it altogether with a card between eight and 32 gigabytes. To format your card, press and hold the format button for six seconds or use your app. If your battery light is red, recharge or swap your battery pack. If your signal light is red, check the antenna for damage, then power cycle your camera a couple times if necessary. If your signal light remains red, then you should move to an area with better signal or call us for help. Your account light should always be green if your camera has an active data plan and a good cell tower connection. After all the lights are solid green or yellow, you can press the test button to trigger a picture. Within about 10 seconds, you'll receive that picture on your phone. Your camera is now ready for the woods. We can prep the solar panel indoors. First, attach your solar panel to the mounting bracket using the two smaller screws. Be sure to thread the chew-proof cable through the slot on the bottom of the bracket as shown here. Mount your camera about three feet above the ground and avoid blowing branches, grasses, and heat sources. Night pictures will be brighter if you have foliage or structure directly behind your target. 
The camera latch creates a watertight seal and sometimes requires a little muscle to latch it shut. After mounting your camera, you can strap or screw your solar panel. Position your solar panel to maximize direct sunlight. Your panel will help charge the battery pack even in the woods, so we recommend using it in all outdoor applications. When you plug the solar panel cable into the camera, push it in strong to ensure a good connection. Now that your camera and solar panel are mounted, we can explore our command center and camera settings. On the cameras page, you can see battery level, signal strength, and data consumption for each camera. You can click here for more details on any given camera. If you want your phone to ding or vibe each time it receives a picture, turn app notifications on. Adjusting your settings is straightforward, but there are a few that I'll explain here. One of the great improvements with Y2 is video mode. Your camera takes 10 second videos in 1080p full HD with full audio. But to save battery and improve recovery time, your camera will initially send a three second low resolution snippet with no audio. Then if there's something interesting in that three second video, you can request the full 10 second HD video. Your camera will then send the HD version to your phone the next time it checks in. Upload frequency. By default, your camera will take pictures and send them instantly. However, to save battery power, you can set your camera to save pictures and batch upload them hourly or once per day at a specific time. Working hours is useful if you only want the camera to detect motion during certain times of day. Your camera will check in with the server for updates every time it uploads a picture. In addition, you can set it to check in once per day or once every 30 minutes. Setting this to 30 minutes uses more power, but it allows for faster responses to settings updates and picture requests. Our default standard pictures are higher resolution than our competitors. For customers concerned about data consumption, you can switch this down to low resolution. Back on the camera details page, you'll see an option to request a picture. This will trigger an image the next time the camera checks in with the server, which will be within 24 hours or potentially within 30 minutes, depending on your server check frequency setting. You'll also see reboot and format SD card. These are primarily for remote troubleshooting to potentially save you a trip to the camera if something goes wrong. The media page houses all of your pictures and videos. Clicking on a picture brings up options to share with friends, tag as a buck or favorite for easy retrieval in the future. Clicking request HD triggers the camera to send the HD version of that picture or video the next time it checks in with the server. Back on the media page, you'll see which pictures and videos are HD based on the HD icon here. Clicking select in the upper right allows you to select and batch delete pictures. As your battery level drops to very low, we'll send you an email. You can also see this in the command center. When this happens, you'll want to arrange a visit to your camera and bring your freshly charged battery pack to swap in. When you do this, Turn the camera off, swap battery packs, and then turn the camera back to setup mode and watch your LED indicator lights turn solid to ensure you have a good connection before leaving the camera. And that's it. I'll close with this. Y2 is an exciting new camera, and it's the product of years of R&D and listening to customer feedback. We are always trying to improve, so please share your feedback with us as you get to use your camera. Thank you and enjoy your new Y2.